Previously, we looked at how to save data to the back end, but I just want to show you a very slightly different way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let person again, let person equals to PF object, and then it's going to be for the class people. Um, what you should always do is to make sure that your classes are started with capital a letter and then your keys are started with a small letter. So if you look at the let me bring the dashboard. Uh, so if we have the dashboard here, let me bring this down and uh, go full screen. You can see that the people is capital letter and my keys, first name, last name and age, they small uh, letter to begin with a small letter. So it's always good to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say person dot set value for key. You know, previously what I did was this. I said first name. Okay. And then I just say Odus. Odus string. Um, you can see that, um, I mean, that's what we did previously and it worked. And you, so the way, another way to do is to say person dot set value for key. So let's do set value for key. So the value that we want to set is Let's use another name. Let's just say um, Arian, Ariana, and the key we want to set that for will be first name. And then we just say person dot set value. We're gonna say what should we call Ariana? Um, I don't know. Brown for key for key. And that will be last name. And finally, person dot set age set value. Uh, we're gonna say fifty for key age. And then we can say person dot save in background. So let's run this code, and then we'll check the database to see if it's successful. Um, Let's wait. It's gone through refresh. And now we have Ariana Brown 50. Uh, one thing you need to pay attention to is that um, the data type, which I'm still going to talk about, is automatically inferred for you. So the age is a number. The last name is a string and the first name is a string. And if you look on the dashboard, you can see that here you see the age is a number, last name is a string, first name is a string. We didn't need to specify that in advance. By looking at the data that you're saving, it will automatically understand and do that for you. So I just want to show you in different way to if you prefer this way, it's fine. But I usually prefer the previous way that I did. Thank you.